How's it going guys? My name is TJV and today we're back another 2k rebuild. It's been a while since we've done one of these But I did think of an idea that I kind of wanted to do and I've thought about doing before but The problem with it is it's very hit or miss because well, let me just share with you The challenge is going to be pick a state The pick a state rebuild challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do fantasy draft. No one's protected everybody is on the boards to be taken and I'm going to basically do a random list and then what we're going to do is if you went to college in that state then we can pick you but if you didn't then we can't pick you so it's basically a one state rebuild challenge sort of like that pick your state one state rebuild challenge now if there are not enough people from that state well I didn't think about that yet but um, assuming that there's enough people that are in a college that went to that state, uh, or whatever, like, then we'll, we'll pick that. Otherwise, if there's not enough colleges, we can just go by, like, okay, let's say, for example, there's 10 people from Montana, like, that went to a Montana school, but in the NBA, there may be 15 people that are from Montana, so we could just pick those five, possibly. Again, it's a fantasy draft, so I could screw myself over here. If I don't get... This is what we're going to do. If I don't get everybody that I can, I am going to handicap myself with a 40 overall player. So what I'll do is I'll just take a player and I'll make them 40 overall. So that's going to make it even more of a challenge and make us even worse if I can't get the people, appropriate people necessary. We have to keep 40 overall on the team. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's get on into the gameplay. Leave a like, subscribe, not subscribe already. Comment down below some more ideas. Twitch or Discord in the description. Let's get on to the list. All right, so essentially what we're gonna do, um, so the only thing I don't have, the only thing I don't have is Washington DC. Now I kind of want to include that because there are some fair bit amount of players that went to school in like Georgetown. Maybe they're from DC, right? Like Kevin Durant, maybe, I don't know. Well, it depends. I don't actually think he's from DC. Like they have to legitimately be born in Washington DC. So I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, uh, apologize for the noise. Holy cow, I'm so sorry. Uh, so if I guess if I land on Washington, what I'll do is I'll do a random like I'll ask Like pick a number between one and two the one number will be Washington the other one will be Washington DC Just to make it a little bit more fair. So we'll, we'll we'll just do that. But that's assuming we get it. There's 50 states So what are the odds? Let's spin it and see what we get Watch we actually get it. Oh My god. Wow. We actually almost got it. Holy cow Okay, so we have to draft an entire team where all the players either went to school in Virginia, and if we don't have enough uh, options for schools in Virginia, then we have to do uh, if they were born in Virginia. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, let's get on to the gameplay. Injuries, injuries, trades, uh, I kind of fixed that. Injuries are off, trades are that, no rule changes. And again, we're just doing a fantasy draft, so we're gonna just uh, pick a random team in five four three two one i clicked it and i think i saw who we got we got the warriors we were one away from the wizards which would have been kind of interesting since they're so close to washington again one off from washington <laughs> so i guess we'll be the warriors um okay this could be interesting because i don't even know if i want a good pick i have to figure out which players even went to like a virginia school so this should be kind of fun i am curious to see Wow, I hate my life, 2K. The one time I actually don't want the number one pick, and I get it. Really. Really. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm going to see who's from Virginia, and I will go from there. I'll let you guys know once I find a player. Okay, so I don't know if any of these players were born in Virginia. Okay, I don't know who here is from Virginia. But in terms of college, the best player is Malcolm Brogdon. Am I really going to take Malcolm Brogdon with the number one overall pick? I have to, right? Ah, I hate this challenge. I already hate this challenge. 2K, your game is great. I can't even like go like that. I literally have to go like this. To find players like why why doesn't the R button just work I could look up people from like Virginia Virginia Tech 
I might just do that. Like, what are schools in Virginia? There's out of border. He's from DC. These guys are all international, international. Ball ball just didn't go to school. Missouri. Ah, gosh. I don't know, guys. This is not looking good. This is not looking good for me. I might have picked the wrong. I might have just gotten the wrong state. I might have just got really unlucky. Okay, Joe Harris. Joe Harris from Virginia. All right, you know what? Brown Cabron and Joe Harris isn't terrible. All right, DeAndre Hunter. He will be our next victim. Well, not victim. He'll be our next player that we draft. All right, well, we found someone that... Virginia, Virginia Tech. There we go. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. I'm just going to go with Mike Scott. I know he goes to... He was from Virginia. We'll do pick him. All right, Ty Jerome is here. I know Ty Jerome went to Virginia, so we'll pick him. Kyle Guy also went to Virginia, so I'm going to pick him as well. Okay, so I can go with Troy Daniels. He went to VCU, and VCU is in Virginia. So there we go. Trevion Graham, also from VCU. We are going to sign him onto the team. Okay, Kyle O'Quinn went to Norfolk State, which Norfolk is in Virginia. Right? So Norfolk State in Virginia, in Norfolk, Virginia. Therefore draft Kyle O'Quinn. I gotta say, I missed out on Dorian Finney-Smith, but Dorian Finney-Smith said he went to, it says he went to Florida, but the site that I'm looking at, Atlantic 10 Conference, if I go to Virginia, not the Atlantic, sorry, the ACC, and I do... Virginia. Tech, I think it was? It says he went to... Te it says he went to... Virginia Tech. So... I don't understand that. Did he... Did he transfer? Like, I'm so confused. I don't know. Does that count? And he's from Virginia. So technically... He technically went to Virginia. And he's technically from Virginia. So... I think that technicality... I think by that technicality, I'm going to be able to, I, I can pick up Dorian Finney Smith. Okay, so this is where we kind of have a little bit of a dilemma. So Frank Mason III was born in Virginia, but he went to Kansas. I said that that'll count. If you were born in the state, if I couldn't find other people that were born, born in the state, Frank Mason was born in Virginia. I'm looking at it right now. Born in Virginia. So, by that definition, he was born in Petersburg, Virginia. He's technically con considered a Virginia player, so I'm going to pick him. Guys, I think I'm going to just give up, just because it's this video is taking forever to record. I'm just going to give up, and my team can just auto-pick, and I'm just going just gonna to release him. So whatever two players uh, I was picked, so I don't know who that would be. Did we even pick? Jordan Bell, I'm releasing him, and then Daniel Otoru. Ah, oh, man, that sucks, because he's actually good. So uh, let's just get into the season. I kind of want to just start. Um, and I don't know if I, I don't know exactly how I want to do this, because here's the thing, right? Free agency. I can only sign people from Virginia. Trades, I can only trade people from Virginia. I don't, I think we have everyone that's good from Virginia. So I don't even think I'm gonna make any moves. I just think we maybe just draft somebody, hopefully. Is there anyone that's in cup coming in this class that's from Virginia? I don't know, but I'll have to look. But unfortunately, so my roster 
The good thing is, I don't have to sign people, and I'll tell you why. If I have enough people, then I'll be okay. Pretty sure I have enough people on the roster. I do. So, yeah. So, basically, Malcolm Brogdon, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Joe Harris, DeAndre Hunter, Kyle Quinn, starting five. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, but yeah, we're going to be terrible. But Dorian Finney Smith, Ty Jerome, Trevion Graham, Mike Scott, our bench is terrible. We do have 12 people, so we actually can work our magic. So basically, what we're basically going to have to do is just sign everybody, develop our young guys, and just hope that future drafts just have really good players. So I'm just going to simulate to the end of this first season because I just don't think we're going to be good. Oh, never mind. So I have to, I do have to, uh, there's an exception. So I do actually have to fix the roster manually. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is sneeze. But then I'm just going to sign like the worst. Unless I could do this. Well, I could do this. See, now this works. If there's anybody here from like, like Virginia, then I will sign them. Otherwise, I'll just sign the worst players. All right, this guy is from Virginia, so I can actually sign him. And I'm just gonna give him a two year deal worth $1.05 million and hopefully he signs. Of course not, why? Why wouldn't you sign for that? Okay, 1.2 million, two years. There you go. There, this Devin Hall guy, he is also from Virginia. So we're going to give him a two-year deal worth... Two, just give him a three-year deal worth two million. He'll accept that. Yeah, the bastard. All right, so we, 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 we actually did, did end up uh, filling out our roster of Virginia players. Except, of course, Ren Finney Smith is technically not from Virginia. Neither is Frank Mason, but they were born there. And I'm just going to consider that Virginia. Anyways... Simulate the rest of the year. All right, so I simulated the entire season. Obviously, we were terrible. James Harden MVP in Portland, Long Rookie of the Year in Me uh, Memphis. Mason probably six Man of the Year in San Antonio. That's interesting. Giannis in Memphis, Defense Player of the Year. So Chris Boucher, Most Improved Player. Coach of the Year, Steve Nash, sixty-one twenty-one. Cody Tule, Executive of the Year, sixty-one twenty-one. Well, we were not very good, and of course, I had the number one pick, right? Like, oh. Uh, the, the odds of me getting the number one pick, of course, in a challenge like this, where I get the fantasy draft, could have drafted anybody. Could have drafted Giannis. Could have drafted Giannis. Could have done it. International players would have been perfect. Nope. Oh, boy. Well, we went 21 and 61. So, yeah, you could, we were, you could just say we were terrible, right? So... Uh, here are the stats, though. Malcolm Brogdon had a freaking awesome year, though. Putting up 27.4 points, 3.8 rebounds, 7.1 assist. Basically our best player by far. He had an absolute career year. I'm surprised he didn't win most improved player. Should have. But whatever. Joe Harris, great season as well. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker. That's nice to see from him. So we're going to definitely develop him. He'll be, like, really, really good. Young Runner's young. We actually do have a, a fairly young team. You know what I mean? Like, Die Drum is only 23. So there's actually some development here. Kyle Guy, 23. So, and then a couple guys are 24, 25. So, honestly, there's some development to be had here. There is some development. So we actually could get better, in theory. Not much better, but we can get a little bit better, for sure. So, uh, let's just simulate the offseason. I'll see you guys in the next, start of the next season. Uh, basically, I'm going to draft somebody, though. I, I got to do that. Nets win the championship. Jimmy Butler finals MVP. All right, Darius Nichols is from Virginia Tech, but he's terrible. Um, please tell me that wasn't by overall, right? Is he really the only guy? Please tell me that wasn't by overall. Like, there's no way. Oh my god, it was. So you're telling me... I don't remember where the guy was, but... You tell me that that was the best guy? From Virginia? I'll have to find him again. But that's... Ridiculous. 
Darius Nichols from Virginia Tech. I have to draft him the number two overall pick. I'd rather just not do that. But I'm doing it. Let's see what they say. I'm actually curious to see what they say. No. No, that's just not what I ended up doing. But okay, you could say what you want, but that's not what I did. Uh, good, all right, let's see if we can find another player. Otherwise, I'm just not gonna sign the guy that we draft. But it doesn't seem like there's any other people from Virginia, so whoever this guy gets drafted, oh my God, 44 overall. I don't even wanna sign him, honestly. Do I wanna sign him? <laughs> I'm just not gonna sign him. I feel like I just shouldn't sign him. What's the point? What is the point? Ty Jerome will accept. I have to see who's a free agent on our team. Kyle Guy is the only free agent. We need to get him back. But other than that, I think that's it in terms of free agents. Oh yeah, Mike Scott. Let's get Mike Scott back at a minimum. But other than that, that might be it. So Mike Scott, Kyle Guy. I want to keep Troy Daniels. If I can keep Troy Daniels, that'd be nice. I don't know where he is. Is he a shooting guard? Yeah, I'm going to cap hold him. Troy Daniels, Troy Daniels. I'd like to i like to keep him, honestly. Just because I know he's from Virginia. Okay, Kyle Guy will give him a contract. And then Troy Daniels. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Why can't I find him? Oh there he is. We'll give him a two year deal. There we go. Beautiful. So I think we're just going to keep the team the way it is, for the most part. We just spent it in ready to go. Colorado, not from where we need to be. Uh, so I think that's it, right? That's really all we could do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, unless there's like some other guy from Virginia that we just want to pick up just so we have 15, I'll do that. But otherwise, I'll see you guys at start next season. All right, so I also picked up Justin Anderson. Honestly, you know what? Team might be... Uh, teams looks a little bit little bit better. Still not going to be good. I still need a better trainer so I can develop the guy, like more guys. But I think we could actually be better than we were last year. So let's see how we do. Honestly, let's just simulate the rest. Let's just simulate the season. I'm not going to show you guys the stats of the trade deadline. Just because I'd rather get this... Just rather simulate quicker. So for the sake of time... Uh, so yeah, let's simulate to the end of the year, see how we do, and I hope next year we can at least make the playoffs. That would be the goal, because I think we can develop people, and they'll develop over the year, and they'll get better. So let's see. Oh, Luka Doncic, triple-double, MVP. K. Cunningham, rookie of the year. Precious Achiuwa, sixth man of the year. Defensive player, John Nice, most proved John Morant, coach of the year, Mike Malone. Kyle Harper, executive of the year. Well, we, had a, we did improve a little bit by one game we won one more game than last year but we went 22 and 60 now i will say this we were doing pretty good in the beginning of the year and then i don't know what happened we just started to suck uh malcolm brogdon's number took a big dip uh Nikhil alexander wander walker is nice deandre hunter's doing his thing joe harris still playing well kyle guys getting minutes that's nice honestly this chemistry is not that bad like, the only one that's pissed is Devin Hall. Everyone else is okay. So that's that's a nice thing to see. Uh, so let's just simulate the season, or postseason, I should say. Playoffs. I'm going to hope that we have a nice draft pick and there's a really good player from Virginia in the draft as the Nuggets win the championship. Ben Simmons, finals MVP. Let's go to the draft. See if we can get a stud prospect from Virginia. If we can't, then basically this video is over. We're basically screwed because I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. But we'll see. Well, Mel House is the only one that I think is from a Virginia college. No, Norfolk State. <sighs> this isn't looking good. So Mel House, huh? Mel freaking House. He's the only guy. He's the only guy. Can I just do this? Mel House. Well, I guess we're drafting him. Well, not the worst thing in the world. Getting Mel House. Utah and Serbia. No, sorry. Can't sign him, unfortunately. You know, Mel House will sign you. Why not? Screw it. 
uh, team player options. These guys are all team player options. We're going to accept them. Qualifying offers. Kyle Guy, yes. And Mabadi Diakide, yes. We're going to extend you guys. Who do we have as free agents? Dorian Finney Smith. We're going to negotiate contract him. Give him that money. Trevon Graham. We're going to give you that money. Kyle Quinn. We're going to give you that money. Uh, I also need to get back Frank Mason, Kyle Guy, and Mike Scott. So we're going to get them back. And Justin Anderson as well. All right, so we're in our third season. I might go one more year just to see if we can get like a really good guy in the draft that's from Virginia. But honestly, the starting five isn't awful besides Kyle Quinn as the starting center. And the bench is okay. So, I mean, it's terrible. It's not great. But it, again, we're probably going to finish in, probably finish in last. But honestly, like, I think we can win more games than we did last year. I think we can maybe get 30 games. That'd be kind of a goal. Let's see if we can get 30 games. So I'll simulate another season and see how we do. Well, Luka Doncic MVP, Fred Wilcox, Rook of the Year, Trey Jones, Sixth Man of the Year, Jonathan Ike, my player, your most approved, Jalen Green, Coach of the Year, Ty Lu, Josh Bray, or Burgess, Ejected of the Year. Let's take a look. Do we have any Warriors? Probably not. Even if we did, doesn't matter. So we actually went 21 and 61. So we were actually terrible. We started off not awful again, but then. Kind of just started losing way too many games for us to even come back. I mean, here are the stats if you guys care. Um, Nikhil Alexander Walker is averaging 22.6 points. Imagine, imagine that actually happens in real life. Maybe. You never know, right? You never know. Malcolm Brogdon. Two guys averaging 20 points is pretty good. Three guys averaging above 15. Five guys, double figures. I mean, honestly, and the relations are mostly okay. There's really no one that's, like, egotistical. So you know what? If we can get somebody in the draft that's really good from Virginia or Virginia Tech or No Fork State or VCU, whatever kind of school they have, maybe just maybe, maybe just maybe, we can make playoffs but i'm only doing one more season i'm done after this donovan mitchell and the pacers win the chip in seven games final time to be done okay there's actually someone in here that's good from virginia tech Rolando sessions so we're gonna pick him we're gonna pick him but i do want to see who went first overall we've got darius brand from minnesota and then daryl webb from north carolina State. i just wanted to I'm curious to see if there any of these guys were like really really good um, and I guess there are some guys. Here, she Higgins, this guy. So I thought, wow, this draft is actually kind of crazy if you think about it. Maybe it's a mishit, though. I don't know. But either way, Rolando Sessions is going to be on the team. So welcome, Rolando Sessions. I will take that. That's a very, that's a very good pick there. All right, so we're at free agency. There's some guys we need to keep. So Malcolm Brogdon is the obvious one. DeAndre Hunter, we'd like to keep him as well. Nikhil Alexander Walker, we'd like to keep him as well. Ty Jerome, we'd like to also keep him. So if we can keep all those guys and everybody else in between, that'd be great. We're going to keep cap hold these guys so that we have them on the squad. I want to make sure all my Kentucky guys are here. Maybe not Kyle O'Quinn. We can let Kyle O'Quinn walk, I think. But even then, he's a minimum guy, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but who else is here on the team? The Ty Jerome. Uh, Devin Hall, we're going to sign him. Troy Daniels, we're going to sign him. Uh, actually, yeah, if they're all... Honestly, if they're all on... What's it called? Uh, bird rights, might as well just pick them up. So yeah, Frank Mason. Mike Scott. And... Trevion Graham. Honestly, we yeah, we could probably let Kyle O'Quinn walk. I would like Justin Anderson back, possibly. Well, I would like all these guys back, to be honest, if it's possible. So yeah, let me see if I can get those other guys back, like Justin Anderson. Uh, if I can get him back, that'd be great. And maybe the Mamadou guy, Let's see if we can get him back, Madike. Um, I don't know how good he was. I think he was like a 71. So I can get him. Yeah, honestly, that's fine. We can let Kyle Quinn walk because I think we have enough people anyway. 
All right, well, this is our final season that I'm doing of this uh, challenge, this one state rebuild challenge. And honestly, if we can make the playoffs, that'd be great. Honestly, the starting five is nice, and the bench is actually okay. You know what? We could win 30 games. Let's just try to win 30 games. That's my goal. Can we win 30 games, please? All right, well, I'm going to simulate, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Here's your MVP, Luka Doncic, Rashid Higgins, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, Precious, Giannis, Defensive Player, Most Improved, Lexi, Bogujevsky, Coach of the Year, Steven Silas, Christian Bartlett, Executive of the Year. Here's your All-NBA team. Let's see if we have any Warriors on here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, no, we do. We have Rolando Sessions, All-Rookie First Team. Had a nice season, 13-5-2. and two. Other than that, that's really it. So, good news is, we didn't finish last in the conference. Bad news is we make playoffs. We were 14th in the conference, but... We did go. We did get 30 wins, which was my goal to get 30 wins. Actually, I really wanted to make the playoffs, but maybe another year or two of development, and maybe we would have made the playoffs. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I if I maybe had a better state, like if I had Kentucky or Kansas, I think I'd be in a lot better shape. Uh, but nice to see three guys on my team averaging double figures. Um, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, here are the stats, guys. I tried with Virginia. Uh, but Virginia just couldn't get it done, unfortunately. It is what it is. Maybe I'm bad. I don't know. I'm probably just bad. Uh, Cavaliers win the chip, and John Morant finals MVP. Let's close out the video. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap a like on the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more future videos, as well as check out the big playlist in the description below, which contains other my NBA, my WMA content, as well as my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, which you guys should follow and join. With that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Take care, and peace.